Hey guys, Starwatch Media here at the Hamptons International Film Festival with Steven Bernstein, the award-winning director of Decoding Annie Parker. Um, so tell me about the film, and uh, you guys screened last night to a standing ovation, you tell me. Um, we did get a, a, a standing ovation, uh, which is very, very sweet. Um, and um, people, I guess, responded to the film. Uh, the Hamptons uh, and the Sloan Foundation has given us the uh, Sloan Award, which is a, a huge honor. So um, it's been uh, it's been fun. Um, it's been stressful as well because um, we never anticipated the amount of tension that we we suddenly uh, suddenly got. You know, I've been to lots of festivals from when I was a cinematographer, and I'd always hear about you know buzz around a particular film. Um, you know, careful what you wish for because all of a sudden we had buzz around our film and then everyone was speaking to us and all the faces sort of blended together and it became kind of a very surreal um, you know experience you know I, I've, I've been to so many films I've worked on so many films that you know nothing um, seems real until it resembles fiction so um, this is now beginning to resemble fiction so much that it's almost beginning to seem real which is really terrifying. Mm -hmm. So you have a fantastic cast, uh, you know, Rashida Jones, Aaron Paul, Helen Hunt. Um, so tell me about uh, each of their characters, about a little bit about the story of the film. Sure. The film's about um, uh, two um, very remarkable um, women. Um, in one case, a very real woman, um, which is uh, Dr. Mary Claire King, who's probably the most important scientist that we've never heard of from the 20th century, who actually discovered the genetic link to most cancers, um, specifically to the uh, BRCA1 gene, which is uh, breast cancer. Um, so her work is incredibly important. No one knows about it. She changed the way all of us uh, understand disease and will probably save millions of lives over the next 20 years. No one knows about her. Hopefully they will after this film. The other one is Ann Parker, a Canadian woman who had cancer uh, three times. I came across her story and there were elements of her story that interested me. Ultimately she became a fictive character and I combined it with many other women's stories as well. But many of the elements do come from Ann's uh, uh, own uh, tragic uh, journey, having cancer three times, but surviving it three times. Wow. And both these women's journey happens over 15 years. Both believed in a future, a malleable future. Ann Parker believed that she could keep living. Uh, Dr. Mary Claire King believed that she could find this link to uh, certain types of cancer. Both were told that what they dreamed of was probably wrong. Uh, and in both cases, they were right, and the rest of the world was wrong. So it's kind of a... a a feel-good story, an inspirational story about people overcoming insuperable um, obstacles. Um, and what's great about both characters is they're both very, very funny. So mm -hmm. the other thing that I think is very important to survival, and so much of the films about survival, is, uh, is irony and humor. And these are really very funny people. Well, it's perfect. Did you guys plan to, to open the Breast Cancer Awareness Month? No, look, <laughs> there's been a series of, of, of tragic um, serendipity, remarkable serendipity this year. Look, this is the same year that uh, Angelina Jolie very bravely had that op-ed piece in the New York Times. And that was because she has, uh, she's a carrier of the BRCA1 gene, the same gene our film's about. So uh, she had a double prophylactic mastectomy. She did this very uh, courageous uh, article uh, that I think have influenced lots of women to themselves be uh, checked and examined and to free uh, those women of the stigma of potential breast cancer. So very, very courageous, but it raised so much awareness and so much attention for our film that we feel we now have a platform to do some good. Also this year, um, the uh, U.S. Supreme Court ruled on uh, the BRCA gene, which had been patented by a company that was charging women about $3,500 to get the test done, a company called Myriad Genetics. And the U.S. Supreme Court decided in a very narrow ruling that um, they couldn't specifically do that. So that also changed um, the, uh, the landscape, uh, the playing field. So these two remarkable things happening. Our film coming out uh, here at the Hamptons during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, earlier this year we went to the, to the uh, Seattle Film Festival where we got uh, Best in Fest and Samantha won Best Actress. So this has been uh, a crazy uh, journey, seven year journey. Seven years ago is when my son and I first wrote the script uh, and uh, we had to raise the money, we had to find the cast, we had to get the script written, we had to get it made, we had to get it out to the world and to have all this happen on the very year that the film finally starts getting uh, some attention and being shown is, is, is remarkable. So, I mean, the characters that you write about, I'm sure, taught you a lot about yourself. Um, but these actors, I think, you know, every director learns something new, especially working with actors like Helen Hunt and, and Aaron. So tell me a little bit about uh, your chemistry with your cast and relationships. Well, you know, the person who had the greatest influence in my life as a director was a British director, Mike Lee, 
who uh, employs a lot of improvisation in the way uh, he directs uh, his actors. And so when I approached these remarkable groups of actors, I said, look, here's my approach. The words on the page are not sacrosanct. I want to do improv. I want to do overlap. You know, the, 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 the rule in Hollywood is that you can never have two characters overlapping their dialogue ever because uh, it's difficult for the sound recordist. But I couldn't help but note that it's much more natural to have people uh, overlap. So I encouraged overlaps, I encouraged improv, I explained the words word sacrosanct, and we all combined together uh, to create this remarkable atmosphere uh, on set that was conducive to very free creative expression. Um, and I was very blessed in terms of the remarkable personalities I had. Aaron Paul, as well as being number one on IMDb right now, and the word uh, and the name. Another serendipitous with the whole Breaking Bad scandal. Yeah. Or not scandal, but it's kind of a scandal. Some scandal that I don't know about? Let us know. No, the scandal of how popular a show about meth is. Scandalous. IMDb, uh, Internet New Movie Database, Aaron Paul right now is number one on it. And here, the anomaly of it is Aaron is the gentlest, sweetest, kindest, most evolved human being that I've met. I mean, he's just a delight to be around. And now he's unimaginably famous. And he's doing the new uh, Ridley Scott movie. So that's, uh, that's incredible. And Aaron was a pliable, reasonable, got into the character. We had him in all these wigs, these outfits. And he was always into whatever we threw his way. He loved it. So a great collaboration. Samantha Morton two-time Oscar nominee, British actress, very much a method actress. So for her, it was all about feeling things um, and being completely in the moment. Helen Hunt, two-time Oscar nominee, Oscar winner, um, all about understanding specifically what the ideas were in research. So what I learned was how each of these actors had a different methodology. Each approached their parts uh, in a different way. And then the, the wonder of it all was how we all combined our different methods and sensibilities through this, uh, this combination of improv, through different life experiences. And you know what was also special was we took over an abandoned youth detention facility in Whittier, California. So we were camped in the middle of nowhere. So we all got to know each other very, very well. Oh, yeah. And we had a very, very close uh, uh, relationship and collaboration that was magical, magical. Well, congratulations. I think there's a plethora of springboards for this movie, so I know it'll do well. Thank, Thank you so much. You so much. Thank you so much.